Hey everyone, it's Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about a mini hydroponics experiment I conducted a while back, where I tested to see if and how aeration affected plant growth. To start off, I had to build the hydroponics system. Since I already had a mini aquaponics system, I decided to just add on to it. This is a quick sketch I created outlining the basic structure and design I was aiming for. After this, I started to gather and prepare the parts I needed in order to construct the hydroponics system. Here you can see some clips of me cutting PVC pipes and drilling holes through them. These were all the materials I ended up needing, and now that they were all ready to go, I could start to put everything together. Here you can see my aquaponics system and how I'm using it as the base for my hydroponics system. All I had to do was assemble all the materials together and move them onto the structure. Okay, so this is what it looks like all put together and finished. As you can see, water from the aquaponics system fish tank is pumped up to the hydroponic system through this tube before splitting off to two different sides. The LED light panel above provides the plants with equal amounts of sunlight. 
and as water flows to the right, the system comes back together into a singular pipe that drains back into the aquaponic system. Um, the aquaponic system uses the bell siphon to drain that water back into the fish tank, thus completing the cycle. And back to the hydroponic setup, you can see I added air bubbles on one side of the system and left the other side empty. I didn't record a video of me adding in the lettuce, but here's what they look like after growing for a couple of weeks. So this is what the lettuce ended up looking like in that end. A stands for the plants that had the aeration or air bubbles, and N stands for the side that had no air bubbles included. Here the A plants were being compared to the N plants that were closest in size to them. So the largest ones are on the left and the smallest ones are on the right. As you can probably tell, the A plants are slightly larger and leafier than their N counterparts, and their roots also tended to be a bit longer and more complex. By this point, the differences between the A and N plants had become less noticeable, but I can confirm that when the plants were just starting to grow, the difference in their roots and height were definitely more drastic and visible. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe! I'll see you in the next video! Bye!